Hello, my name is Michael Barker. I'm a professor of civil and architectural engineering at the University of Wyoming. I'm also one of the directors of the Short Span Steel Bridge Alliance Bridge Technology Center. Today we're going to be looking at Short Span Steel Bridge Economy. This work was conducted under the Short Span Steel Bridge Alliance, which is part of the Steel Market Development Institute under the American Iron and Steel Institute. The material presented in this video is for general information only. It is not a substitute for competent professional advice. So if we start with a problem statement, there is a preconception across the country that concrete is always less expensive for short span bridges. What this presentation is going to do is going to present a direct cost comparison between steel and concrete short span bridges. The Alliance had the opportunity to work with Audrain County, Missouri back in 2012 to look at two nearly identical bridges, one steel and one concrete, and keep track of the cost between the two during the construction of those two bridges. The steel bridge on the left here was built in 2012. It consists of four steel girders and a 48-foot span, 24-foot roadway width with a 2-foot structural depth. The bridge on the right is a concrete bridge made out of six hollow core slab girders. It's 51 foot long, so it's just a little bit longer, but it has the same roadway width and the same structural depth. So these two bridges are nearly identical, and the Alliance worked with a county engineer in Missouri to keep track of costs from beginning to end of these two bridges. If we look at those costs, on the left on the steel bridge, it was broken down into material, labor, equipment, guardrail, rock, and engineering for a total cost of about $112,000. On the right for the concrete bridge, it was also broken down into material, labor, equipment, guardrail, rock, and engineering for a total cost of about $154,000. However, since one bridge is a little bit longer than the other, the total costs are divided by the deck area, and the steel comes out to be about $97.5 per square foot, and the concrete comes out to be about $121 per square foot. Or from these numbers, we can see that the steel bridge results in a 19.3% total bridge cost savings over the concrete structure. However, we know that with the different sites and the different site work, and the different engineering costs, that is not a true comparison. And so to try to dig in a little bit deeper on these costs, what was done was to look at the total constructed cost. Or in other words, on the left side for the steel bridge, taking out the engineering results in a cost of $90.30 per square foot. If we also take out the rock, because rock is expensive and it certainly is different at different sites, it comes out to a cost of 83 and five cents per square foot. For the concrete bridge, taking out the engineering results in $104 per square foot and taking out the rock results in $98.14 per square foot. But since this examination of costs was conducted while these bridges were being built, the county engineer was asked to separate the costs of just the superstructure. Because for these two bridges, they really are nearly identical. You could almost pick up one and put it on the other abutment and vice versa. And so the engineer kept track of only the superstructure costs. Or in other words, removing the site prep work, the abutment work, the grading and finishing, the rock, the guardrail, the engineering, taking those out and looking at right before putting the superstructure in to right after the superstructure was in place. And for the steel bridge, under materials, you have the girders, which are quite expensive, and the precast deck panels for the deck formwork, the reinforcing steel to cast the deck, and the concrete. This was a county-built bridge, which means county labor was used to build the bridge, and the costs for that are included there. And the equipment is $500 for a superstructure-only total cost of $42,800. Dividing that by the deck area comes out to $37.5 per square foot. 
On the concrete side, those slab girders, those hollow core girders are quite expensive, but they are more or less the structure. You don't need the deck panels because the top of the box is the deck. Not much reinforcing steel just for around the abutment work and a little bit of concrete to put in the integral abutments. The labor is about the same and we see that the equipment is quite a bit higher at 4000 for a total superstructure cost of $61,000. $340, which comes out to be $50.61 per square foot. Now we see a couple differences here. One is certainly the equipment. For the steel bridge, they were able to use a smaller 30-ton crane that was owned by the county, and so they did not have to rent a crane. For the concrete bridge, they did have to rent a crane because those concrete boxes are quite heavy and they needed a 100-ton crane to be able to put those in, and that cost about $3,500. The $500 in each of the two bridges is for the rental of a skid steer for smaller site work. If we were looking at some other alternatives here, this is a weathering steel bridge. If it was going to be galvanized, galvanizing is becoming pretty popular, especially at the county level, it costs about 22 cents per pound, and so that would add 54, 53, 80 dollars to the total cost of the steel bridge. That does include a 10% fabrication fee on that, but that still is resulting in a bridge cost for a steel, which is significantly less than for the concrete. And if the county had not owned that 30-ton crane, renting a 30-ton crane would cost about $1,520, which would result in about $38.88 per square foot for the steel bridge. Still significantly less than the concrete bridge. So in summary of this study here in Audrain County, Missouri, the superstructure only cost of $37.54 for the steel bridge is considerably less, in fact 25.8% less, than the superstructure only cost for the concrete bridge at $50.61 per square foot. And as far as I know, this is the only true apples to apples comparison when we're only looking at the superstructure costs of one bridge versus another because these two bridges are nearly identical they have the same structural depth which means there's no difference in approach work has the same roadway width the same abutments were used for both however steel could have used some of the more innovative smaller abutment systems it has the same guardrail system and the two bridges were built by the same work crew now, why does steel have this advantage? Well, we'll look at a few of the reasons. One is that, of course, as we saw, lighter cranes are required. And in this case, Audrain County, Missouri owned their own crane, and that can save significant costs. In this bridge, it was about $3,500. For steel bridges, we can use lighter abutments, maybe a GRS abutment or some other types of abutments. For these two bridges, the same abutment was used for both, but for steel bridges, certainly lighter abutments are possible. And in steel bridge construction, the techniques have become better. For instance, using the precast deck panels to form up the deck work, laying down the rebar cage, and then placing the deck has become economical. For these smaller steel bridges, we can use simple and practical details. We don't need the complicated cross frames, the X's and the K's. We can use simple bent plates or channel diaphragms. We can use simple stiffeners. If we use elastomeric bearings and integral abutments, that reduces the cost from those big pot type bearings and it also produces a very durable bridge. And of course, if we can use weathering steel, that removes initial costs of painting and it also removes future maintenance costs. So those are two bridges where the steel showed that it could save 25% over the concrete alternative. This means that a county could build five bridges for the cost of four if they consider steel. But of course, that is just two bridges, and so what the Alliance did was they worked with that same county, Audrain County, Missouri, to look at other bridges that were built about the same time in that county. And so here are five steel bridges built between 2008 and 2010, and here are four concrete bridges built between 2006 and 2011. And looking at those costs under labor, material, rock, equipment, guardrail, no engineering, comes up with a total constructed cost and then dividing by the deck area of those bridges we see that steel does not always win and concrete does not always win 
and that both material types are competitive. If we look at the averages in Audrain County, we see that the average steel cost for bridges is $86.09 and the average concrete cost is $96.32. So the bottom line for this video and what this video's objective is, is to show that steel bridges are competitive in the short span market. If you need more information, Rich Tavaletti is the director of the Short Span Steel Bridge Alliance underneath the Steel Market Development Institute. The Short Span Steel Bridge Alliance also runs on Twitter and Facebook, but what I encourage you to do is to visit the website shortspansteelbridges.org. Under there you will find interesting information on short span bridges and also a standardized short span steel bridge design product called eSpan 140. A free web-based design tool which provides customized steel solutions for bridges up to 140 feet. I encourage you to check out the website and I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.